yesterday I was having technical problems to connect, but now uh, I will put it put the gimbal back here, and then we will be able to start. Okay, and soon I will say hello to everyone present. Thank you for being there with me, and let me uh, adjust this here. Uma pergunta dentro do por acaso dentro da exposição eu poderia ficar um pouquinho sem máscara? Não, então tá. na verdade Kelly, é, eu tinha entendido que você só queria, desculpa, acho que eu entendi alguma coisa errada. Uhum. Eu tinha entendido que você só queria ficar no terraço. Ah não, e aí você eu não podia passar no terraço e ir para lá. Não, desculpa, porque ah, tá. eu não entendi isso e aí eu teria que ter pedido autorização e aí eu não tenho como ah, autorizar. Ah, tá ok, então Agora, vai ficar faltando isso aí. Agora você me desculpa, eu tá, entendi que você queria bem. só o terraço porque da outra vez foi faltando, né? Então tá aí, o povo já tá aí olhando <risos> <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Juliana here mm -hmm. with us today. Uh, she works at the management of the production and communications here at the Mar Museum. And she's welcoming ourselves today to show a little bit of the building and the rooftop of the Mar Museum. I'm going to show you and share you a little bit of that. So, hi, Katie, Monique, Nuni, Mary, for being present. Uh, I'm going to show you from the outside and then we will enter together, okay? Thank you, Juliana. Thank you. <laughs> Olá, pessoal. Boa tarde. Tá bom? Obrigada, viu? Hi, Mary, Sheila, Fairly, Mark and Clive. Thanks, Maria, for being here present. My name is Kelly Tavares, tour guide here in Rio. I specialize in street art and cultural tours and also tours in museums. And today I will show you a little bit of the architect of the, in the art of the Mar Museum through its architect today. Each time I will showcase a little bit of the museum, either through its exhibitions or architecture or the stories around it, okay? So today I'm going to introduce you to the Mar Museum of Rio, the Art Museum of Rio de Janeiro, which is, it was in the first costumes building of, of Rio in the port area. And it's located, hi Diana, in Praça Mauá Square, this beautiful square where there you can see the Tomorrow Museum by Santiago Calatravas. And around this square, many buildings that will connect the port zone with the central avenue of Avenida Rio Branco. Now here, the building of the National Radio and the Mar Museum again. So these two buildings are part of the Mar Museum. This was the first bus station of Rio and the first hospital of the Federal Police Department, which is in the back. So they connect both buildings by this bridge here. So they connect the modern and this other eclectic museum with a French inspiration on its architecture on what we call the Belle Epoque of Rio de Janeiro. Now, let's get a little bit of this building so you can see from outside perspective how does the architecture will connect and build up and from the people passing by there you can have an idea of the size of the building the scale right and its dimensions so what are we going to do now with Juliana Juliana will take us to this rooftop here where we will have a nice view of the Guanabara Bay. Okay, so there you go. If you want to keep that, the Mar Museum, the Art Museum of Rio is one of the best museums of Rio de Janeiro in terms of how it incorporates and represents our local culture. So take your postcard in case you want. And let's go. 
Let's get closer. My name is Kelly Tavares, tour guide here. Uh, inside of the museum, we need to wear masks. Uh, so that's why I didn't take mine, but I can show myself like this. And we will enter the museum to go to its rooftop. I've led tours inside of its exhibition halls. And now Juliana will take us inside of the museum, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Vamos lá, então? Vamos. Ah, Você chegou a falar para eles que esse prédio era um, era um hospital da Polícia Civil? Sim, falei. É, so now Juliana will take us there to the rooftop and uh, well I've led the tours inside of the exhibition halls as well and this is just like a 30 minutes tour to give you a snippet of what we showcase and what's this museum about on the first tour I showed some of the art inside and I promised that on the next one I would show the view from its rooftop and its architecture as well. Lá, boa tarde. Eles estão montando um palco porque vai ter o Mar de Música sexta-feira com o Diogo Nogueira. Okay, so in this uh, hall here, they are now organizing a stage because the Mar Museum, they organize many amazing exhibitions representing and telling the history of our culture here in Rio de Janeiro. Como a gente não vai ter as exposições lá, eu vou mostrar um pouco dessa Isso, história aqui. Isso, e essa você consegue ver, que está aqui no quinto andar. Eu ah, consigo... é? uhum. ah, que ótimo. Então, essa é a essa... So, today we will see a little bit about our black master of music, of the Choro music, Pixinguinha. There is a special exhibition about this man who incorporated this, the uh, beginning of the samba culture with the wind instruments and jazz in the already at the end of the 19th century and throughout the 20th century he traveled around the world with the eight batutas group represented and then they traveled to paris to the u.s and around europe as well even playing with louis armstrong so today the art we will see is to remember this great man who lived here and who played also in the national radio, which is the skyscrapers right on the back. So his history is connected with the history of the place here. And the name of the band was this, the Eight Batutas, it's Oito Batutas, with this formation of Jacob Palmieri, José Alves, Luiz Oliveira, Pixinguinha. Raul Palmieri, Donga, Nelson Alves, and China. So they traveled throughout the world in this tournays to show the Brazilian music already in the beginning of the 20th century. So a little bit of the pilotis of the Mar Museum or the pillars. Now look at this beautiful art representing a beloved singer called Elza Soares, who we really love. And Elza Soares, she passed away this year. And she is the queen of Brazilian music for us. She's awesome. And they just finished this artwork here in her honor. So what I will do, I will invite you to take a postcard of this beautiful painting done by Rafa Mon in honor of Elsa Suarez. And later, if you want to get to know about Elsa Suarez, just send me a message inbox to Rio and Cantos on Instagram or Facebook, R-I-O-E-N-C-A-N-T-O-S, Rio and Cantos. And I can share some of the playlists with the music of Elsa Suarez so you can enjoy. She, here is written. Precisamos ser criadas para a liberdade. O mundo é grande demais para não sermos quem a gente é. We gotta be uh, educated for freedom. The world is too big for not being who, who we are. Who we really are. Beautiful message from Elsa. Vai ser inaugurada amanhã essa... Ah, so Juliana said that it's going to be inaugurated tomorrow. So
So nobody has seen it already from the angle that we are seeing this together. Thank you, Ziliana. O negócio tem que fazer acontecer. Uh, here is a work of my friend Sirlan Oliveira from Morrinho Project in the Favela Pereira da Silva. Sirlan Oliveira is an artist and a tour guide on his favela. And we lead, he leads tours there. And I take groups of people to go visit his, this bigger project that he created in the Pereira Favela Pereira da Silva, which is close to Corcovado. So please, feel free to ask your questions, to make your print of this beautiful art, which is just uh, the tip of the iceberg. Actually, if you visit his favela, you see that there he did a bigger installation throughout uh, his neighborhood, and he traveled to... Uh, to the many art fairs in London, in Paris, in Italy, doing this installation of the Mohim project. Sound good? How is the sound doing there? The quality? Please, if that's good. Now we will take the lift, the elevator, all the way up. Terrace, where we'll see a nice view. And while we are going on the lift all the way up, what happens is that, here's the name of the museum, is that the internet can start to drop. But don't worry, that's going to be a fast ride up. Keep up with me. Hi, Arlen. Thanks for joining uh, the Museu de Arte do Rio, or the Art Museum of Rio. I looked all the way to get to know the terrace. And there, the, the internet might, might fail, but we will run fast all the way up there. So don't disconnect. Just keep together. And please let me know if you have questions as well. We are going up to the fifth floor. How are you doing, guys and ladies? Now here is cooler than being outside. Good. Quinto da. Ah, legal. Nice. <risos> Valeu, Julia. Ah, ah mas sim, eu termino em... É, não vai ter menos, né? É, em 15 minutos. Mas aí pode ficar à vontade. Tá. Obrigada, viu? So, here is an exhibition about Pixinguinha. And showing here a little bit of the Central Avenue, which is now the Avenida Rio Branco just around, close here, in the historic city center. And we'll see uh, different art documents the lives of Pixinguinha in the time when he was alive, composing songs for operas, for concerts, and like here, conducting an orchestra. So it's an amazing exhibition. It tells a, a legacy of a time from music of Brazil. And I show you some historic prints of uh, performances that where Pichinguinha played or composed the pieces for and which in many cases, many of them were playing in different local theaters or even in the different um, performances in different places. So you have these historic prints, which are very rare. I haven't seen them before this exhibition and now they've made this a special 
to showcase the great master Pichininha here being represented. Now from artist Yuri Cruz, who is a contemporary artist, contemporary important black artist now very prominent here locally, making this honor to our different Orishas, such as here Oshala, being represented with the symbols of Oshala, the father of the Orishas, on the stage, being adored. Yuri Cruz is a prominent artist here, and he is using here the serigraphy technique medium to showcase Omolu, which is the Orisha of the epidemics coming from the banyan trees all the way here with Nana to the earth and being represented by the art of Yuri Cruz. There is a very classical, a few classical paint, pictures, photographs of fishing in that I'd like to share. And now look at this amazing photograph of fishing in. And this one was done by Walter Hirmo. So, photos like from a time on the 60s when uh, many also like jazz, blues musicians, they have the photographers had kind of a same uh, aesthetics and way to represent in this realistic but also very human way to from the angles chosen to really make this person look as big as they are through the photography. Here we have a few reflections. Uh, it's in, in a glass framing. So sorry about that. Just gives you an idea of the master here. This is a classical uh, photograph of Balte Firmo, a famous uh, Brazilian photographer took his shot from Pichinguinha with his saxophone. These were his favorite instruments, the transversal flute and the saxophone, which he became known for playing the shoto music. Hi, Hans. Thanks for joining from Bavaria. We are here seeing a little bit of the art Highland showcased in the Mar Museum in a special exhibition for Pichinguinha. We already saw the building from outside showing the architecture. And now I have here a miniature a project that I can show you the building again from another perspective. So we saw from outside this the, the building, and I will show you this is the back part where they created this bridge to unite the hospital of the police with the old costumes building. So from the back is where you connect and you go from the art school to the exhibitions hall and also the rooftop that is just above our heads and which we will go there and see now. Now, take a look here. The weather is just perfect today. It's about, it's 1 p.m., about 30, 35 centigrades, but feeling almost like 40 under the sun. And from here, we have a beautiful view of an artwork that we'll see also from up there, from the rooftop, from Mauricio Ora. Mauricio Ora is a photographer from Morro da Providência, and he uh, took photographs of residents in the favela of Morro da Providência. And from those photographs, 
he uh, drew uh, the sketch on walls and in many walls of the houses in the favelas. And then little by little, he was carving in a best relief in order to review the faces of the residents. So it's a very beautiful work carved on the walls of the houses and spread throughout the favela so the residents can enjoy this art and also with one installation here at the Art Museum of Rio. So let's make a good composition here so you can take a print. Look at this beautiful view where you have one of one artwork of a local artist from the favela who now, Mauricio Ora, is internationally known. BBC of London has been covering has been covering uh, articles with Mauricio Ora, so you can find documentaries or uh, interviews with Mauricio Ora. And then from here you can see a little bit of the French architecture of the 20th century with, with this kind of domes and uh, the architecture of the building. The Guanabara Bay with the Atlantic Ocean in the back. Praça Mauai Square and the military area of the Navy. So do you have any questions uh, in this landscape here? So let's go up and move on to the rooftop. So we can uh, go there and see the view from a, a bigger perspective as well. There is the Tomorrow Museum from a higher angle. Look at how beautiful this landscape, this architecture art is with the urban plan of the port area. All right, so moving on here. A fishing year represented as a queen, as a king, as he is even now for us with his wheelchair where he likes to sit on his back patio and think and compose and feel his songs. All right, let's move on to the rooftop. And while we move on, I will show you. Ah, tá fechado aqui de casa. <laughs> tá. So we will take the ladders, the steps, uh, the lift to go up to the rooftop. Olá. Okay, keep up with us because we are going to show you the views of the rooftop here, which are pretty cool. And uh, I'd like to know if you have any questions so far. And I apologize for some of you who maybe have dropped the presentation because they had technical problems. I, don't know, I couldn't figure out what was exactly, but then I arrived five minutes late. All right, switching the camera. Today the museum is closed and Juliana was really nice. She opened up the museum for us to show you a little bit of what we have. Obrigada, Ju. So now look, when you arrive at the rooftop of the Mar Museum, this is the view you face. So enjoy the view here with me and please make your postcards. Who is enjoying the view here? Nice. I'm glad you are, Leon. Thank you. Now let's make this turn with the camera so you can have an idea of the surroundings. Ah, Monique, great. Thank you. There he is. Uh, there is here the houses on the hill in Morro da Conceição. It's part of the it's a, a favela. They are all residential areas. Some of the buildings of the city center, the national radio where Pichinguinha himself played with other famous musicians of his time. And the beautiful view. 
of the bay in the Tomorrow Museum. How many of you have been here to Rio before? Please take your postcards. How many of you want to come to Rio? All right, Arlen. So next time when you come, consider uh, joining me here on the port area of Rio to come and visit the Mar Museum and its surroundings. So you can see uh, these beautiful views from the top, the rooftop of the Mar, which now with the pandemics is opening from Thursday to Sunday. And they host other events throughout the week. Look at this beautiful view. And the work of Mauricio Ora, representing one of his neighbors of Favela da Providência. Now, in that side, you can see other buildings, and they are connected with these big uh, architectures that are functional of the and characteristic of the port areas like aduanes customs federal police departments hospitals office buildings and for example all this back pay, this patio here in the middle and these big buildings are from the police department which was the rooftop of this building where we are now was the hospital of the, 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 the that police department and there on the back in that hill is the favela Morro da Providência, the first favela of Rio de Janeiro, where artist Maurício Ora, who did this work, was born, where he lives and where he has his art studio, from Morro da Providência to the world. Have you taken your postcards already? Wow. What a, what a history, Shayla. During the World War Tour, World War II, your parents were in Amazon. I got curious now. I'd like to hear those stories with you. Now. Ah, Shayla, nice. Very good to know that you are Brazilian from your heart. Nice. So what I will do, I, uh, we got to the end of our tours, uh, passing already five minutes. Uh, and again, apologies for the technical problems that I couldn't even identify what was. I had to restart and enter. But basically, we arrived at the end. I just gave you an idea of the architecture of the building here, of the Mar Museum, a little bit of its art, but there is much, much more in this museum to see and to enjoy. I hope you appreciated that, being here with me. And all the times when I do the museum tours and many tours that I lead here, even if they have the same title, many times for the most part, especially art, I will be showcasing different parts of those, okay? Different sectors or different rooms or different street art, such, such as the ones I did. So please keep posted, follow me on HeyGo. And, and uh, if you don't have any questions, I say goodbye and see you on the next tour. Please follow me to check the next tour is about to come. I will be promoting another street art tours here and also the Itaquatiara, the Charles Darwin's path in Itaquatiara, Niterói. Nice, thanks. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Bye bye for you. Thank you.